It's a left-handed heavy lineup, so Ryan Marone, the true freshman, gets the ball for NC State. These programs traditionally meet home and home every year, and last season they split on each other's home fields. Now, you go back to 19, that was a huge regional. ECU was in the elimination round. They won five games in three days to win the 2019 region. Two programs separated by just over an hour. And that one is fought back up the middle. Bristol Carter with the first hit of the night for either team. Now the starting catcher, Justin Wilcoxon, goes the other way and an opposite field base hit. The Raleigh native returns home and knocks the single for the Millbrook product. And Barini chops one towards Pennington. He's got a hustle to first and just wins the foot race. So two outs and two in scoring position. Probably more so from ECU. That is rocketed to center. Serrano can't get there. And the Pirates strike first to two RBI single from Greenville native Dixon Williams. And you also know how important runs are in a game like this. They're going to be hard to come find. Williams does a nice piece of hitting once again. It's a slider, stays middle, middle. That's something that you just cannot get away with at this level. You got to go down and away if you're going to go out there. I'll see Eli shaded over to the left field side, unable to get there. The early difference. And that time, the breaking ball gets the job done. And then he added some power to that with the bullpen they have. There's the strikeout. And Aaron Grawler with the K. Longest at bat of the game for a Wolfpack player. Here's the 3-2. And Serrano goes down swinging. And fuel to an already well-lit fire. And there's an opposite field base hit for Carter Cunningham. It's a great play by Eli Serrano in center to hold him to a single there. Marone working in a 1-2 count. And Coward chops one right towards the bag. Good pick by Pennington over there at first. Now he hits with a man in scoring position. And delivers a rocket base hit. Look at the speed of Cunningham hitting the brakes. And first and third here for the Pirates. McChrystal the squeeze bunt. We told you the Pirates do it all night. And effective to make it 3-0. And when you run that play successfully and you have a perfect bunt just like that, that play is hard to defend. 23rd sacrifice bunt for the Pirates this year. And Butterworth lost it. Starling comes in to score and a wicked hop makes it 4 nothing ECU. A ton of spin on it. Yeah, here's a good look. Once it hits that dirt, just pops right up. And he chops one to Nixon. There's Luke Nixon retiring the side. What is he, 7'4", 300 pounds? You have a perennial All-American against maybe the most unconventional star of college basketball on a strikeout there. We're dynamic. Jacob Jenkins, Coward, and Alec Makarevich last year both had double-figure homers, and that ball's off the foot of Marone and results in an infield single. Lead the ACC in one-run victories this year. And McChrystal goes back up the middle, a hanging breaking ball. And the eighth hit of the game for the ECU Pirates against Heath Andrews, his freshman counterpart. Carter into the hole. Butterworth, what a throw! My goodness! Silky smooth as butter. So that ends the inning. Brandon Butterworth with an absolute cannon. Derek Jeter S. When you're going to face multiple pitchers. And that time Beal misses, so a walk to begin the fifth. It's been the opposite tonight so far. Serrano looks to change that with a base hit. And there's the first knock for the Wolfpack. And that's what I'm talking about with his hands. Oh, and another breaking ball. Good squeeze by Wilcox in there on the strikeout. Chase goes back up the middle. Long run and a nice catch for Johnson. Riley's got a cannon out there in center, but a little bit of an awkward bounce. Starling lost it, and everyone's safe. One of the best bullpen arms in America here on 1-2. Hits Nixon. Butterworth lines to short. Nice snag by Joey Barini, his counterpart. Robin a base hit. Two weeks into American Athletic play, Wichita State, who was picked seventh in the preseason poll, five and one start.
How about four ranked teams in the Atlantic Division, eight overall, and Clemson having a great start, seven and two in the conference. We talked about the Virginia Tech start, but Duke at number nine, even though they're 500, maybe one of the best pitching teams in the country. I feel like every uh, every weekend you, you may see a sweep or you may get swept. That ball lands fair and a chance for extra bases for Dixon Williams. How about the Greenville product repping his whole local squad there with two hits? Good matchup here, strength on strength for the 2-2. Runner takes off, and Cozart's throw is just late. They put the ball in play. They make some things happen. Another 3-2, and a slow roller. Not easy here for Nixon, who bobbles it. East Carolina cashes in a five spot for the Pirates on the NC State air. Yeah, this is, um, this is just prototypical ECU baseball. And then Carter Cunningham deep into the night. It's a seven spot for the Pirates. And then you hit a two-run home run. <laughs> this is this is uh, what ECU is looking for. And this is obviously brings the, the fans to the feet. But I think it was just another off-speed pitch, middle-middle. Carter Cunningham with his seventh. And this Pirate team has come to life in the sixth inning. Yep, wants it out, down and in. You just can't get away with that in this league. You can tell how much this matters to both programs. Top 25 matchup and an error three-run inning has helped fuel a 7-0 start. And Rockets a base hit. So Jenkins Cowart with his second hit, now hitting 360 on the year. Runner moving on the pitch. Cozart's got an excellent arm and a nice tag by Nixon. Pennington, five multi-hit games in the last two weeks. He rockets one to left center right on cue. Pennington kickstarts the rally. This Wichita State transfer cannot be stopped in the box. I'm telling you, the, the amount of barrels that this guy gets is, is unbelievable. The 2-0 was left up, and Amac pops one up. That's a long run for Carter. Oh, my goodness, Williams. He's got a chance for two. Greenville native Dixon Williams robbing a base hit. You could see it. Carter's just too deep in left field there. A lot of guys tend to go for the bucket catch over the shoulder. He goes the opposite route. What a tough play. Low stress innings for Grawler and Beal. Now Richie in a little bit of trouble. Issues a walk. Eric Ritchie struggling to find the zone in relief, and a walk has loaded the bases. But in some trouble here against Lamphere, the freshman from Wendell. Off the end of his bat, Ritchie collects it to end the inning. That's the part you tell your kids down the road. <laughs> and Jacob Starling gets hit, so he's on to begin the seventh. Yeah. And dominates, but then struggles against Georgia Tech, the previous outing. Kozart with an excellent arm, and that's just late. So now a 3-2 pitch. There's the ground out. Nice play. Heck of an effort from Pennington to knock it down and save a run. There's the first out. I'm going to sit fastball and, and adjust off speed. There's the fastball. Makarevich in fair territory goes the long way, and the run scores. So it's 8-0 East Carolina. This dugout. So they're still searching for that piece. Justin Wilcoxon goes the other way. First pitch, driven to left, and it's gone. Wilcoxon with the home run, his fifth of the year, and the Pirate Party continues. I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but once again, I think it's an off-speed pitch over the middle of the dish. These have been hit hard all night long by this ECU offense and there you go slider Kozar wanted down the way he does not get it there that's nine and one coming in as Nixon gets hit that Florida State team to get things rolling down there in Tallahassee there's another hit by pitch and Link Jarrett certainly figured things out quickly down there two on with nobody out so the battle continues here on three two Forces weak contact. Only play for Williams is in time. And he pops one up. Long way to go here. Oh, off the glove of Carter. So everyone's safe. Pennington will jog into second on the East Carolina mistake. 
That time a hard ground out, and there's the second out of the inning. It does bring home a, another run, though, for NC State. And swing right through it. The 3-2. Fastball again. Wyatt Lunsford Shankman climbs the ladder. Mississippi. Here's Winscott. Hasn't helped his control there. A walk. That's Hollis Fanning warming up. And then a base hit for Cunningham. So the runner holds. And first and second here for the Pirates. Cozart, the back pick, and it gets away. Pennington couldn't squeeze it. Another run comes in, and this is where East Carolina shines on the bases. Jenkins Coward sitting pretty in a 3-0 count. Oh. Starling the other way with the base hit. It's a double-figure run scoring night for the Pirates. And here comes JJC in to score. Two in on the double from Starling. 4-0 early of taking advantage here late. Oh, and that hits McChrystal. Had a really good non-conference slate. And a ground ball that could end the inning. It does. As a Southern California native, I appreciate folks in the ACC joining us out there. Oh, there's an error to start the inning. <laughs> Just what these guys want to do. Man, there's a lot of history of 9-11 there. Been at .9 ERA. Because of good defense like that, there's one and a double play. Trying to keep balance as you're popping up and sliding. This ground ball should end the inning. A good night for the Pirate defense continues. I'm seeing a blowout like this. And there's strike three, earning a strike there for Cozart. And a four-pitch walk. Not able to locate that time, so a four-pitch walk. And goes down swinging there. Strikeout for Consiglio. I, I love you would, seeing it. I know you would know. Runners take off. Cozart. It's a strikeout regardless to end the inning. And a lot of them have stuck here late in a 10-run game. So Hunter misses with a leadoff walk. Pirate shirt. There's a lot happening. Makarevich pokes one to right, and that drops in. The game continues, and a hit for Alec Makarevich. And now Jake Hunter here in the ninth. Not so fast. Kozar to base hit. That'll score one. Here comes Amac for two. As Jake Hunter looks to put the closing touches on this one. That ball's lined to left and wraps things up. First win for East Carolina here in Raleigh since 2009. And the number 12 ECU Pirates take care of business here in this top 25 matchup.